Hey guys, Josh with the Depth Tape channel. And a few weeks ago, I had removed and installed a new damper on a customer C15. And the problem with them is they're sealed, so you can't really tell what the condition of them is unless you cut one in half. Now, Jay Paydirt had done a video where he cut his damper in half uh, quite a few years ago, but I wanted to do one myself, so I did. Cut one here. This is the same one that I removed off of the vehicle. And you can see that there's an inner sleeve and an outer sleeve, and it's supposed to have a viscous membrane around it. But as you can see, it's almost like honey, and it's supposed to be free floating, but here I am trying to push it back into the housing. Pretty much almost impossible to move. I'm putting quite a bit of force on this. Like my thumb is flexing, you can see. So while not completely seized, it was not rotating in the housing anymore, so it wasn't really doing its job. And the customer said he noticed that with a new damper. And the fear of that, without it doing its job, is that it can actually damage the crankshaft and also cause other drivetrain problems. There's also this little nylon, uh, Teflon-style sleeve in there that helps sit on it. It was actually still in fairly good condition, but over time, that viscous membrane will either leak out or harden, not do its job anymore, which there is no pre-planned amount of time for swapping these, but I'd say if you're going for your first rebuild or it's been a million miles, probably a good idea. Short video, how about a little destruction of the week? In this week's destruction of the week, we have some gear train damage. Look at that. Customer came in, and these pictures were submitted by Jerry, by the way. And he said he's having some weird performance popping and things, and look at that. Gear damage, missing some teeth on the front gear train here. You can see them really up close there. Problem with gear train damage like this is generally one damaged gear can damage the other gears, which gears are very expensive. Not only that, it's very labor intensive generally to replace them. So you're usually talking several thousand dollars in parts and there's some of the teeth that were found. Bad day for this customer. Unrelated vehicle, uh, he said on this one, the fan hub just came apart and yeah, knocked a hole right through the little radiator there. It looks like it was running when it happened. Unfortunately for the customer, thanks for watching.